one we are here to introduce a software that is called SQL Backup Master and it's free and it's really really good to to make backups of SQL Server I will try to to explain the maximum that I can this is my channel you can visit and see all all the other videos I have some Portuguese videos and I'm trying to to do some English videos too so you can find it here SKL master backup and it's for free for the minimum that you need that you really need it's really good and you don't need to pay for it so this is the software this is the the software that I'm talking about okay you can download it here you don't need to upgrade pro just if you have a lot of instances that you need to to do backup at the same time or something like that but you re don't really need it it's, it's already enough what do it for what do for free okay so we have here to create a new database backup and here we can choose let me show you my SQL management server okay this is the name of my instance okay so you can check it here normally the name that you have here is the name that you need to put on the instance name okay so I can connect here and here I can choose the SQL server instance and here I can choose local something like that but I can really write the name of my instance okay I can use connect using Windows authentication normally this works like the um, the authentication on the SQL server it's exactly the same thing you can connect on authentication Windows authentication or you can choose SQL server authentication it's it's really the same thing it's not the same thing it's better if you use this because no matter where you are doing the backups you will have access if you are using connecting using what uh, Windows authentication you really need to be sure that your account have the permissions on SQL server so I advise you to use this okay I'm here you need to put your username and password and you click OK here you can see all the database that you have in your instance you can mark the instance that you want okay the database that you need or something okay so you need to check them and add add here you need to add your location this is where is going the the backups so you can choose a network folder you can choose the Dropbox and FTP server you can choose this but you if you wanna use Google Drive or Boxbox Amazon S3 Azure Store you need to a prof a professional license or you need to uh, the standard for free you can do this it's already good okay so here you can choose your location you can choose the drive or something or let me check if I have another yeah you can create a new folder create a new folder call it backup and go here and okay so you can say that he deletes the the other versions the um, after 30 days th the 30 backups he start deleting the last one always the last one the last one I can always put here other than 10 days okay so I do one each day so it's it's already good 10 but you can put a th 30 it's as you want okay so you can choose your username or password 
the of the your network if you are in the network you sometimes you don't have authentication or if you don't have access to this you need to put your username or password but as i'm local i'm on my own computer i don't need this okay so i need just to put this and here i can save it and if i do a backup it's already three databases this job never has run before so let's do it backup backing up if i go to the e drive if i go to the e drive to the folder backup i don't have nothing i'm still waiting so let's let's wait and what is good about this is that he does the backup and after he zip the backup so saves a lot of space on your hard drive you see here we already have the um, the databases that i did backup okay so i can do this every day i can schedule i can schedule jobs like this i can say that I want a full backup or a differential backup or transla transaction log backup. I can choose what I want. It every 24 hours he do a backup. I can schedule if it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I can choose everything and I can do the start and the end time. It's it's a really nice software to do backups. So I can choose full and we'll start at 7. If I save, save again, I see that here I have a full backup every 24 hours and we'll start today at 5. 5 p.m. Okay? And I can do recovers, I can here and choose my destination of the backups and do a recover or delete I can do whatever I want it's a fast way to recover databases and to do the a backup and if you need to recover you can just click recover and rollbacks okay and this is everything I think everything that you need to to know delete the log files after 90 days you can choose that too explore all databases view databases backup logs run all jobs at the same time you can add a lot of a lot of backups yeah i need to he told me that i need to to choose first a, a location on the network to run the backup okay i just put okay and save I have all these okay okay and I can choose the names I can give the name email email account backup and there is the name okay I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope to see some comments about it and if you want um, some software or if you need some software you can ask me I can search for it and I can do a video like this teaching you or telling you the, the, the advantage of using that software for what you want I hope that you enjoy subscribe my channel and I will do a lot of videos like this for you thank you thank you very much